Hi, I'm Greg Osborne, president of Bug Bakers of Columbus. Uh, Bug Bakers of Columbus is also the Midwest training facility for Pespro Thermal, one of uh, the United States' leading bed bug heater manufacturers. So today, what we thought we'd do is uh, give you a little information on the heater systems. And uh, additionally, um, shortly, we're going to do a video on preparation and proper bed bug heat treatment technique using the PESPRO system. So this particular model is a 6.25 to 10K or 10,000 kilowatt variable heater. It is powered by a 220, 240 volt uh, voltage supply that you would get from your dryer or an electric range outlet. The heaters are probably, uh, are, are certainly one of the most durable we've ever used. This particular heater is probably about eight years old. It's used almost daily. We've never had a problem with any of them. So if you'll look at the heater, you'll notice there are three switches right here. Each of these will control a certain amount of the wattage. Or, so if you want the 6.25, then you'll leave all three down. If you want it to go up to 8.75, you put up two switches. And if you want it to go to 10K, you'll put up all three. Now, you'll notice there's also a label here that tells you the proper amperage circuit breaker you will need to power that. So stick around, we'll be right back. I'm Greg Osborne, president of Bug Bakers of Columbus, one of the premier and early innovators of bed bug heat treatment. Throughout the years, we have tried a number of heat treat systems, and without a doubt, we have found that the PESPRO Bugweiser heater system has been the most efficient, durable, and cost-effective product we have ever used. Today, we're going to demonstrate proper preparation and uh, setup of the heater so that if you rent this heater or purchase it, you'll know exactly what to do to get the most out of your Bugweiser heater. So to operate the PESPRO thermal heater, it's a fairly simple process. It involves two cords. One is a larger 240 volt, volt cord that uh, to do that, the first thing you would do is go to your breaker box and you would turn off the breaker to the dryer for safety. You would then go over to the dryer, you will unplug the dryer plug from the outlet and then using one of the four special adapters that PESPRO supplies with their heater package, you will select the correct plug and uh, plug that into the dryer outlet or stove outlet as the case may be. You will then connect the end of the 50 foot extension cord or in some cases even a 100 foot extension cord into the um, adapter. You will then go up to the heater itself and plug the large extension cord into the bottom outlet of the heater to supply the voltage for the heating elements. So after you have the main power cord attached to the heater, you would then want to plug the regular extension cord that you power from any outlet in your house into the side of the heater. That will activate the thermostat and the air mover fan that's located in the top of the heater. After you have plugged the large extension cord in, you want to make sure this green light is on. That doesn't tell you the heater's getting hot. It just lets you know that there is electricity or power to the heater. This right here is the heat control knob. It literally um, will turn the heat on. So right now the heat is off. Right now the heat is on. So this will be your thermostat. To turn the thermostat on, it's powered by this extension cord. So you plug it in right here. You have your thermostat that gives you the current room temperature. The power has electricity to it. You turn this knob on, you'll hear a clicking sound, and that means the heater is now getting hot. Which controls only the heat. So in other words, if the knob is turned off, there is no heat. If the knob is turned on, then it produces heat. And 
once the heat process starts, it usually takes about an hour to an hour and a half to bring a room up to 120 degrees. After that, it will rise very quickly to a maximum of the factory preset of 135 degrees. Once the room gets to 120 degrees, you can officially say you're starting to kill bed bugs. The industry standard is a three hour heat above 120. At Bug Bakers, we typically do a four to a four and a half hour heat up to 135 degrees. So after you have successfully heated the area for four to six hours, your bed bug problem should be gone. When you are done with the heater, the first thing you wanna do is turn the power knob off, let the heater run for about 10 minutes to cool down, and then you can unplug the orange cord. So when you walk into the room too, by the way, it's going to be hotter than you probably have ever experienced. So you don't want to spend too much time in there. It could be as hot as 135 degrees with a high humidity level. So please do not stay in the room for more than a couple minutes at a time until you can get used to that. After you've let the uh, heater cool down for 10 to 15 minutes, you can take it out of the room if you like. Do suggest using gloves because the metal will be hot. So um, after the room cools down, it'll take a number of hours, depending on the size of the room and how long you heated it. You'll let the room cool down to normal, do a good vacuum in the room, look for dead bugs, pick them up. After everything's cooled down to another normal temperature, then you can put the room back together, knowing that it is now bed bug free.